Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkoye, aka Ndi Naija. Ja, ja, ja. I'm trying to hold this book this way so that you guys don't see the glare from the thingy. Can you see the glare? Can you see the glare? Can you? Okay, stop playing. This video reveal is coming in about a year or so late. I purchased this anti-planner, as you can see that it's called, last year with every intention to use it for 2023. Well, it sat still in the shrink wrap for pretty much a year. Um, as we are walking into a new year, what is happening here? As we are walking into a new year, the discussion of goals and goal planners always comes up. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was using a Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets goal planner, and I never really completely got into it. <sighs> hold, let me Let me get right back. Hold on. Okay, that took long enough. Um, what was I saying? I was saying that I've, I, I tried the cultivate what matter, cultivate what matters, power sheets goal planner, a couple of times. I think I tried it three times, two or three times, and each time, you know, I did something. I did some prep work. I remember one year. It was probably twenty nineteen or 2020 that I didn't purchase the goal planner and uh, I used what I did the previous year. So I redid the new prep work. I think I did it in a notebook and, you know, tried my best, but couldn't get into it a month, you know, on a month to month basis. And I realized that I, my preference is to have everything in sort of in one place at least. Now I can expand on it somewhere else which makes sense to have a separate goal planner. But for my day-to-day, -day, it's nice to have everything in one place. Now, you would think to ask, well, why didn't you get a Moxie Life Planner? Well, I can't deal with the bright white paper. End of story. My my eyes, my brain, I'm what you call neurospicy, so some of these things really matter to me, so I can't do it. Uh, so I found this one, the anti-planner, how to get sh done when you don't feel like it. I've, as you guys know, I've been trying to, uh, pass an exam and working and living life and parenting. Uh, and it, it's, it's, it's been rough. There've been some rough, rough times, rough times. And sometimes I just don't feel like doing the things that I need to do. And it helps to have a system to reframe your perspective, reframe your brain, rethink things. And that's why I got this. This planner is designed as, as an anti-planner for people like me who sometimes decide, oh, I'm going to do this. I, I need to do this and I need to do that and your brain sort of rebels against you. And of course it doesn't help if maybe your personal or physical or mental health isn't where it should be. Maybe you're not eating the right foods to get certain vitamins into your body. So, you know, I'm I'm like like any other adult, I am looking for tools. Uh so this planner took, it says no boring, repetitive spreads, no calendars or dates, no stupid cliche advice, no guilt, no empty pages, no way to fail even if you tried. So it's not a regular planner that has dates and whatnot. Ooh, okay, this paper is slightly off-white. It's a thin paper. Uh, so in terms of productivity, goal setting, I will be using this. And, um, I have my ink and vault and it's funny how ink and vault kind of 
crops up into my life every every year. Uh, I've used their planner once or twice, way back in 2016. And I love how they do their goal setting, but I can't deal with the weekly pages and the fact that it's a bound book with blank slots. However, their blog posts on goal setting, productivity, rest, the, their blog posts and the worksheets that they give out are really, really good. So I tend to use that those for goal setting along with maybe old power sheets and just random stuff. So uh, this isn't a full review of the planner. I, I, I don't really want to do one, <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to flip through it some somewhat and show you all how to take care of the thing, you, the thing. This book is about learning to deal with the thing, you know, the thing, whatever the thing could be, organize closet, send, invoice, answer email, file taxes, empty dishwasher, buy that food, the nagging task you've been putting off forever. If you recall, a couple of months ago, I had what I call the matrix of nags. And that was also a system that I tried to use. And I think... I don't know. I don't want to say that that'll be in here because I don't think it is because it's just something that I was like, wait a second, you know, just draw a couple of lines and put things from here to there. And it worked like, but it, it it's a testament to show that brain dumping works. Yeah. It's easy to see this thing. It's easy to see the thing as a pain in the ass. Or a buzz... What's happening with the phone? The phone is doing some things. I don't know. Or a buzzkill standing between you and all the fun you could be having. You might be too intimidated to face it, too bored to care about it, or too exhausted to deal with it. Existing fears and insecurities make the thing seem bigger and scarier than it really is. And this is the truth. And then all of a sudden, you have this wall that you feel like is insurmountable. And it's life. And since you associate the thing with negative feelings, you avoid interacting with it. Does this resonate with anyone? Does it? Does it? However, the thing is not your enemy because the thing is your life, your goals, your future, something that will push you forward, your dream, whatever it is. It is a neutral task just trying to get itself to done and it can't get there without you. Oh, the journey together doesn't have to suck. You can turn boring stuff into games. You can find some company to join you and celebrate small victories along the way. This is another thing that's been difficult for me, celebrating or choosing, choosing to celebrate or choosing to, yeah, just how, how to celebrate. Like, okay, do I, typically you'd want to buy yourself something. And I'm like, ah, I don't really want to. Do I really want to? I, I I, don't want the pressure of not having that thing until the end just on me. Even though I'm feeling it right now because, like I said, my PE exam situation. When you try new fun ways of getting to done, your relationship with the thing changes. You start to associate it with positive feelings of enjoyment and accomplishment instead of anxiety and dread. Because you're headed in the same direction, facing the same obstacles, making the same journey, might as well enjoy the trip to done. Hashtag to done. So the person who wrote this is a comic book artist. And her name is Danny, Danny Donovan. And she said she is best known for making comics and TikToks about her experiences with ADHD. And I think she has a YouTube channel as well. So, this is not a planner. You are not lazy. It is a procrastination fire extinguisher. Yeah. See, all these things that we might tell ourselves, all of these things, yeah. I recommend using pencil or erasable pen so you can reuse the exercises over and over again. This is how I got into these. Not because of the book, but I realized that at first I wasn't writing things down because I didn't want to. 
And then I found erasable pens. And I was like, wait a second, I can erase this. So I don't have to care so much and get hung up on, you know, not writing stuff down. Let's, man, this coil is bothering me. I wonder if I should take it to the office place to redo it. How to use the anti-planner. Grab a pencil, identify which main emotion is making it hardest to care for the thing. Flip to the tab for that section. Read the how you're feeling. Flip to that subsection. Choose an activity you'd like to try and get started. So, stuck, overwhelmed, unmotivated, disorganized, discouraged. I am trying to re-encourage myself, so I'm going to go here. The tab's bent a little. The tabs are not laminated. Yeah. Uh, discouraged. Hopeless, insecure, disheartened, lacking confidence. It doesn't encapsulate my feelings. I'm not this, I'm not feeling these things, but I'm just like, I'm in a blech, you know, like, ugh, I'm not. Maybe this is where I am. Unmotivated. Waiting, unaccountable, disinterested, uninspired. Mm. Mm. It's weird. Hopefully she comes out with a part two of this book. And let's go through this unmotivated. How are you feeling? Waiting to feel like it? Lacking accountability? Disinterested? Uninspired? Let's go to disinterested. 3.3 disinterested here we go so you see it's not a planner that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis it's it's based on how you're feeling are you feeling overwhelmed intimidated overcommitted panicked burnt out let's go to the burnt out nope that's not where i am right now my hatred of the thing burns with the white hot intensity of a thousand suns <laughs> Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah. Contents. Treat yourself. DIY productivity strategies. Truth or dare. Disinterested. Worst tasks ever. Task complaint form. I would like to fill out the task complaint form. 204. Yes, I would like to lament on my situation. Where is the lamentation section? Yeah. Actually... You you guys will see um, my my planner complaints video. Yeah, that that'll be a good one because it, it it'll give you you know an insight into this into this. So yes, let's go. So the tasks are not sequential. You can do them at any time. I'll go back through and flip through all the tabs, but let's just look at this here. Task complaint form. A task name, how to break down task pages, current... So they give you an example, and then you get a form. You get a form, you get a form, you get a form. Uninspired, I'm not pumped about the thing anymore. See, you want to be on your phone, or you go to the thing. I think this is where I need to be. Restart your engine. That's what I want to do. Uh, motivational videos. Ooh, they have a couple of, huh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I am going to, I can't do it right now, but I'm going to screen, not screenshot. What do you do? You do it with your camera where you go to the QR code. There should be a verb for that, but I will go to one of these QR codes and I think I'll, I'll do... Start fresh every day, resiliency, make this. I'll go through all of them to get myself in. Top five role models. Who do I look up to and why? Man, I look, the. I think, I don't know. The first thing for me really is my parents. And I don't want to do it in number one and number two, but geez, them people have been through some things and overcome a lot of things i've recently taken i've taken i've recently taken to taking videos of my dad talking about his life and how he grew up and i sort of interviewed him about having the audacity to get to where he is now 
and it was pretty insightful for me, you know, as a, I'm not a kid, but it, it just, it, it took me back to being a child and then just seeing and knowing who he is and what he's done. It, it's, it's just so weird. Let me put that down. Let's use the thicker pen. Which one's the thicker pen? Where's the thicker pen? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I miss you so. If you don't understand my chaos goblin situation, you are missing out. So I'm going to say parents. Why? How far they've come. It's basically what they've had to overcome and how far they've come. Oh, hold on, guys. I need to take a quick break. <coughs> I'm back. So I was saying top five role models. Who do you look up to? Why do you admire them? Number one is my parents, how they've overcome and they have adapted. We are talking of folks who moved countries as seniors, seniors, seniors. <laughs> Yeah, my dad's in his 70s, my mom's in her 60s. They moved to this country as seniors. They're living life. They are adapting. And like, I, I look I look at them and like, my God, how dare you? How dare you be so audacious, <laughs> you know, because they do it. So I have no excuse. Like... <laughs> I have no excuse. I have no excuse. And sometimes they tell me that I'm being too hard on myself and that um, they tell me I'm being too hard on myself and they say, you know, it's just this, it's just that, it's it's so small. But they don't understand how I'm looking at them and seeing and being inspired. I, I you know, so maybe there's some disconnect there because I look at them and think, wow, they could do this with, and you know, I'm not going to go through their whole life story, life stories. I know their life stories. I might share a little bit here and there. Uh, you know what? I just might do that. Maybe that'll be one of these, one of these vlogmas days. You'll just hear from my dad. I'll have to select out, you know, some things, but just so that you can hear um wisdom <clears throat> but if if you want to talk about daring to do something my mom my dad they will dare to do something like my mom when she decided that she was uh, going to start business the lady just got up you know went to find a couple of people started traveling she first went to some other countries in Africa. And then she's like, you know what? I'm going to China. She went to China. She went to Hong Kong. Then Italy, Turkey. I don't think she went to India. Italy, Turkey, the Netherlands. Like, the woman is a world traveler. World traveler. <laughs> Dubai uh every every i mean she's she's been to canada i haven't been to canada and i am here in these united states she's been to canada i mean she's here too what am i saying but <laughs> i don't know they 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 inspire me anyway that's not what this video is about let's let's come back but i think i will start from here I will start from here and I will go through the exercises in here to get myself back up into, into, you know, the mind space that I need to get to so that I can achieve my goals for 2024. Setting goals that don't suck. What do you want and why? Objectives. And I, I love how, see, it says be specific. Vague-ish never helped anyone. What do you wish you were better at? What have you always wanted to learn? What areas of your life make you unhappy? What do you wish you made more time for? Motivation. Why does it actually matter to me? 
dig deeper ask why then again ask until you feel something true in your gut look for the real core reasons why you care about your goal not surface level platitudes be selfish don't try to make it sound good look i want this credential so that i can brag i want this credential so that i can say i effing did it now that's that's my reason because i want to say look I effing did this. I started it and I finished it. Damn it. I finished it. That's why I want to do it. So yes, be selfish. Don't make it sound good. Requirements. What's it going to take for me to get there? What are the what does success really look like? And this is where the visualization comes in. So afterward, actually think and visualize and see what your life feels like. Emotions, how does it feel? Close your eyes and visualize having achieved this goal. What emotions do you feel? Pride, joy. I will feel proud. I'll feel very proud. I will feel, I don't know. I don't know. Like, for example, I want to be one of those people who can, who can do, um, who can plank for three minutes. Like, seriously. Those people who can plank for three minutes, who can pull themselves up, you know, the pull up, the pull up part. Do you know how much strength it takes to pull up? Y'all, have you re have you tried to hang recently, like hang from a bar? Have you? Have you? Have you? I have. It didn't work. I've tried to just hang from the bar. Like I am on the bar and I am hanging and two seconds later, bum, flat on the ground. Was not fun. Was not funny either. Okay. What is making it hard to achieve? Like tell yourself the truth, y'all. Yo. Tell yourself the truth. So you'll fill it out here, and I think she gives you a couple of pages. Yes, so you have a couple of pages of that. And truly, you can do any of this in a notebook. Say you don't want to write it in here. You can do it in a notebook. You can do it in a notebook. And then, so that's that's that one. So that's where I will start from. So I need to put my bookmark here. I'm going to put the bookmark here, because this is where I will start from uninspired yeah i'll do this right here this is too large of a bookmark where are my other bookmarks i'll be back there finally found a bookmark okay going back to the beginning so you have stuck overwhelmed unmotivated disorganized and discouraged these are Feelings. You love an activity and want extra copies, you can order additional pages of your favorites. I'm going to look into that. And it's broken out. It's basically, it's, I mean, they're basically chapters. Stuck is page 25. Overwhelmed starts from page 105. Unmotivated starts from 159. Disorganized starts from 221. And some of the subtopics. Difficulty getting started indecisive, perfectionistic, distracted, intimidated, overcommitted, panicked, burnt out, waiting to feel like it, lacking accountability, disinterested, uninspired, messy, difficulty prioritizing, for discouraged, hopeless, insecure, extras, other stuff, neurodiverse squad. This is her. Too anxious to start anything, to start on anything, stressed out about not getting anything done. I am feeling stuck. Avoidant, indecisive, perfectionistic, distracted. These are some traits of people who would feel stuck. And it's very easy to get into a stuck loop. I tell you. Like, ooh, I'm not getting anything done. I can't leave. I did da 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 and then you're in this in this loop right here. Sorry, guys, I know it's a long video, but I think it's it's a pretty cool one as we are working on preparing for 2024. Like I said, if you, you know, you could just go to. I, anyway, forget about that. Uh, so, like I said, this is I know it's a pretty long video, but it's pretty important uh, for me to walk through my tools in getting ready for 2024. And this is this is one of them. I have my other notebook, the one where I wrote about the Matrix of Nags, which I talked about a couple minutes earlier. And that one, I can use it to do some of these exercises here. 
And I'm not going to do the thing where I do it there and then transfer over. No, it's just going to be in there. And I think some of these activities, whoops, what was that? I'll put some of these activities in my regular planner. You know, like after you do the work, then you transfer. Yeah. How do you get from here? How do you get from here to here? You need to build a little, build a little thing. Music challenge. Utilize the magic power of your favorite tracks. Five second rule. Take action before your brain convinces you not to. <laughs> this is pretty good. This is good. How to stop screwing yourself over. I like these. Fast forward visualization. Begin with the end in mind. And then you have the roadblocks and possible solutions. Task adjacency, sneaking up on to-dos. Another good resource is Atomic Habits, reading the book Atomic Habits. I tend to listen to the book every year, once a year, you know, around the beginning of the year, right after the beginning of the year. It just helps to solidify the things I've read in the book. And it uh, Atomic Habits talks about, it doesn't say task adjacency, but now my brain has seen this and I can't remember what it is, but it's basically coupling up tasks that you have to do. And you can do it in a sandwich form where you say, you know, you have one pleasant task, one unpleasant task, and another pleasant task, like together. Stuff that you need to do, but, oh, I like doing this, I don't like doing this. Well, you pair them together and then eventually you trick your brain into looking forward to doing the thing that you don't want to do because it is paired with something that you do like to do. Okay. And now this one says do, it's basically do a semi-related thing. I'm avoiding doing the dishes. So what's a small semi-related thing? I stand in front of the sink and turn the faucet on. The way I do this when I don't want to do dishes is I say, well, I'm going to wash only the cutlery. I know, it's weird. Uh oh, gotta go. 2,000 years later. Okay, so I think this is where we stopped because this is what I have open. And let's proceed. I'll try to make the rest of this fast. I know this is already a long video. So thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and check it out if you want this. Procrastination hit list. Y'all, they have bullets. <laughs> got bullets in the page gotta catch them all like pokemon what is what it is drawing your most avoided task as cartoon villains and taking them out one by one i would love to see you know what other folks have look at that moldy coffee cups have some dishes here have a floor that needs to be cleaned you'll need something to write or draw with and things you've been avoiding this makes it so much fun. You can also use this page to write reminders to yourself because they have um, post-it notes. When's the last time I drank water? Ooh, they got a couple pages of this. Doing 10% of something is still better than 0%. That's what I've been telling myself lately. Even if my place is messy, I am still deserving of love. So you backside of procrastination hit list so you don't stab through a good page. So you have one, two, three of those, three of the wanted uh, pages, and you have notes, stickers on the back, four of those. Body doubling, find someone to keep you company. This is great because someone comes to your house, you feel the compulsive need to straighten up. And the thing is, you might not straighten up until they actually get there. Like, it's weird. Start with fun. Produ I'm sorry, productive poops. Pick a small task you might be able to get done on your phone while pooping. E.g. unsubscribing from 10 unnecessary email things that you get. Heads or tails. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Do you guys like all the little <laughs> sayings and stuff that I'm saying? Heads or tails. And it is, okay, this is for you to choose a task. What you'll do today versus what you'll not do today. This is good. Heads or tails. You write all the tasks and then you flip a coin. You can 
some people are able to do this thing here where they do that color me you can color the page if you oh this is the page you should call can't start <laughs> can't start won't start when you're stuck you're indecisive i don't know what i should do so i won't do anything when what was the last thing you couldn't make up your mind about what did you end up deciding and you have you know all of these choices and ta-da how to make decisions faster tips for avoiding analysis paralysis indecision is a decision and this is the game here dice roll so it looks like you brain dump your tasks put a range of how many minutes it'll take roll a die you can use a six-sided die or a 20-sided die and whatever number it lands on you pick the one that's closest yeah if you roll a 20 the universe clearly wants you to have some guilt for your procrastination time Oh, is that the amount of time that you have after you do the task? That's what it seems like. Yeah, after completing a task, you can always reuse your list and roll again to see what you'll do next. Paper football. <laughs> yeah, this is this is fun. Roll, write the task you need to do, fold them up, put them in different areas, and then throw a paper football to try and see um or shuff, shuffle the the papers around and throw them the one that lands the farthest you go pick that up and you do that task i love the gamifying of this i love it love it love it love it for do you remember when we used to make these things as kids the thing you could do like that <laughs> And they actually made it so you can cut it out. Pros and cons list. This is what most adults do. Make a pros and cons list. Deciding between two options. If you're perfectionistic, this is the area that you should be in. You can do a speed run. Set, expect, set realistic expectations. Half asset. Again, doing 10% of something is better than doing zero. Yeah, what are your must-haves, nice-to-haves, must-haves, nice-to-haves for your project? Do your must-haves, and if you have extra time, do 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 a nice-to-have. Do a nice-to-have. Inbox Sprint. How many emails can you answer in 30 minutes? This will be great for work. Timer Challenge. Distracted. Ideal Working Conditions. Oh, yeah. She uses a softmurmur.com for background noise. I tried to use music to focus. Um, I, I don't know, for, for whatever reason, classical music does not help me focus. I'm not sure why. I tried it. I also tried, tried brown noise. White noise is way is too distracting for me. But I tried I tried oh, I tried brown now now brown now. okay I tried brown noise. Yeah, I'm still a little iffy on that. I'm still a little iffy. Dream workstation activity. My dream workstation would be a twenty-seven to thirty-two inch monitor in the library. Yeah, my one of my favorite libraries. Uh, close to me has a large picture window and overlooks a park. You, I think you guys have seen a video of me walking in the park next to the library, but God, it is beautiful. I might show you guys a video of that. It's beautiful. You're just seeing the outside. Learn to mix music, create my instrumental lo-fi beats, idea parking lot. Ooh, I like that. How many pages of that do you have? Nice. I think I need more pages of these. How to stop getting distracted by screens. But I need my gun. Distractions list. Possible solution. Y'all, this book is just chock full of an ADHD person's like needs. It is it is packed. It is packed. Pomodoro timers, where you work for 25 minutes and then take a break for five minutes. 
project, break down tasks to create a um, roadmap, create how to break down tasks, not great, better, best. And this could be your draft one, draft two, draft three. Write it three times if you need to. And then they give you an example here by doing a task breakdown. What task have I been avoiding? <laughs> this looks ex almost exactly like my Matrix of Nags. Let me find my Matrix of Nags here. Where did it go? I have a couple of them. Ah. What did I say? What's nagging you? Why it's nagging? What's stopping this from happening? This says, what task have I been avoiding? Why haven't I done it already? List out the steps. Which steps are technically optional? Of the remaining steps, what takes top priority? What baby step could I do right now to make progress? That's what's missing from here. That's what's missing. Like I said, my water softener, lights blinking, filters old, disturbs my home wellness. I ended up, I changed the filter. I went to Home Depot, changed the filter. That's it. Linear process. Batching. When you batch tasks. Linear process versus batching. So if you're doing... Yeah, so instead of doing your whole project at once, if you have three of them, batch the similar items. That works. It works... You hear a lot of content creators talking about that because, oh, I want to film videos, so I'm filming videos, and then I want to edit, and then I'm editing videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time perception. <Don't> you... <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Time perception. How it feels. How long it's been. An 8 a.m. lecture at five minutes, it feels like you've been in there for 40 minutes. Yes, I always I fall guilty to this one. Cleaning dishes. Man, it feels like I've spent 15 minutes here. Nope, it's actually two, three, five. And writing the perfect email. Yep, you spend 20 minutes trying to write the perfect email, and you've really only spent five minutes. And then YouTube. Oh, I'm just gonna spend 10 minutes on YouTube. Nope, you actually have spent 40. Ah, I'm checking my phone. A lot of us fall into this into this trap. I do a lot, and I'm working to break it. I am working to break it. So, check checking my phone. This is over an hour. Whew, y'all, this thing calls me out. Okay, what am I doing? Time estimation challenge. Yo, I can't, I don't think I can. Like every page is filled. Is filled with something. Every page. Setting boundaries. This this is good. It gives you options. Work. That's a really tight turnaround. I'd love to help, but it'll likely take me two weeks, not one. How would you like me to prioritize X, Y, and Z? I've already got more work than I can handle, but I guess I could just work more overtime. Given my workload, I don't have the capacity to take this on right now. Is this my first priority? If so, I have to push back my other project. I'm so sorry. I don't think I can make it to the team meeting this week. I won't be able to attend the team meeting because I've got something else on my calendar. Another one I like to say is, um, is um, now I, I can't remember, but it's it's a similar thing like, you know, send, send, me, send me notes and such prior. I, I forget. I forget. Uh, but these days, one thing I one thing I don't do is I don't join meetings that don't have agendas. I just will not. I, w I won't do it. If you're asking me for a meeting, you're sending you need you need to send me a written agenda. I need to know that you've done you've done the brain work, and you don't want me to sit there and think for you. No, not going to do that. Overwhelmed, panic, meditation for newbies. Imagine being stuck outside during a raging thunderstorm. Imagine the difference being between being stuck outside during a raging thunderstorm versus being inside observing the storm from behind a window. Those are two very, very different. Stress action plan. I, man, this is so good. And look, you can color this page. 
how to work during shit storms. These are things that I have tried to build in my planners over over time. Just over time. I had a page once where it's where I had um what to do when I'm anxious. Is it in this? It's not in this journal. It's in a different one. It is in a different one. Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. It's weird. Okay. It's not here. Write all. Write down all the stressed out thoughts swirling in your brain. Burnt out. I don't have any en mental energy left. Signs of burnout. Physical, emotional, cognitive, behavioral. Ooh. Mm. Give yourself a break. Staying afloat. You just need to try harder. Somebody doesn't know that you got, you know, this whole anchor thing at the bottom. Self-care list, self-care checklist challenge. Ideas to feed yourself when you just can't take it anymore. Yes, when food becomes so hard. When food becomes so hard. Go-to meals. We've done unmotivated, so I'm going to skip that. Disorganized. Are you feeling messy? Are you having difficulty prioritizing? Everything just piles up again. Content. How to speak clean like a boss. Design your environment. Microwave minutes. Piles for me coloring. Fridge overhaul. Top five worst chores. Cleaning scavenger hunt. Film a time lapse video. Design your environment. What ADHD paralysis looks like and what it feels like. Yeah, it'll look like you're just sitting sitting around on your phone, but your brain is telling you like it is so loud. It gets so loud and it gets frustrating. Clean by numbers. This is a very straightforward one. I am in like with this one. Hmm. So I choose one, I do it, and then I get to cut. What? Oh my God. I think I just found something awesome for my brainy. Hello, brains. Do you guys watch How to ADHD? It's a YouTube. She's a, it's a YouTube channel. She's, she's really, really good. <clears throat> so you should check that out. Personal records. Can you beat your old time? I've done that. In fact, that is one of the reasons this and all those speed round things. That's one of the reasons that I bought this set. I think it was two years ago. EC had this set of what are these things called? I don't remember what they're called, but it's every time I see this, it makes me think of days of our lives as the sands pass through time so do the days of our lives <laughs> you can tell i'm a child of a certain generation okay uh yeah the sound is annoying me now uh personal records can you beat your old time organize your digital workspace piles for miles color that it is, it is just a lot. Top five worst chores. I can't think of that right now. I'm not going to overwhelm my brain. Difficulty prioritizing. There you go. She's got a couple pages of those. Labeling. I did this before the book came. Kanban board. To do in progress on hold and done. And you move your sticky notes across the way. Kanban board example, and you, you're color coding. So the pink is work, the blue is home. All the stuff that you need to do. Yep. I wonder this. I wonder if this can be done in a planner. It can, I think, but it it'll be. I don't know. I don't know. Rank that. Rank it. Low, medium, high priority. Actual stuff I need to do today. Sudden urge to clean my apartment. Is this productivity? Ah, ha, 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 ha. 
disorganized. So you organize it into categories. These are your categories. You'll need to do a brain dump beforehand. Urgent versus important. Do, decide, delegate, delete. And if you're feeling discouraged, hopeless, or insecure, these are the activities in there. Vent space. More vent space. More vent space. I was going to go to a... What are those rooms where you go and break stuff? Yeah, I was going to go to one of those. Draw your feels. Ooh, look at that. Shown in different art styles. Yep, <laughs> this is more me. <laughs> Draw the feelings. The triangle feels incomplete, inferior, compared to the what looks like a put-together bunch of circles draw it. I love this. Oh, I love this so much. I am not alone. That's Michael Jackson. You are not alone. Lessons learned. Flowers can't grow on sunshine alone. They also need rain. Self-compassion pep talk. Ta-da! <laughs> this is something a lot of planner people do. Uh, a ta-da list, meaning you do something, then you write it in your planner, and then you check it off. We do this a lot. We do this a lot. We do this a whole lot. Insecure. I never f really feel good enough. This can also help if you have imposter syndrome. What are you insecure about? Why? Whose judgment are you afraid of? And then chuck it out the window. The faces of cognitive distortions. All or nothing thinker, blamer, catast catastrophizer, conclusion jumper, denier, emotional reasoner, labeler, mind reader, should stickler, right fighter, uncertainty hater, watch out for thought traps. Check for my detailed description of each cognitive distortion. Check out my individual character write-ups. And then tackle the negative thought. Look at the negative thought, tackle it, and say, and kick it out. Bye-bye. Hard to swallow pills. Rejection sensitivity. Shutting up scumbag brain. Yes. When the brain wants to tell you lies. Don't believe it. People who do not exist. Perfect children. Perfect parents. Perfect students. Perfect teachers. Perfect partners. Perfect relationships. Perfect employees. Perfect bosses. So don't lie to yourself that you should be the perfect anything. I'm talking to me. Stop shooting all over yourself. Delete. Man, I am in love with this book. Uh, seeing the real you. Check any words that sound like you. Look at this long, exhaustive list of who you really are. So that you don't feel you have to be this. You are a whole human with a spectrum of behaviors. Small wins trophy shelf. Finally hung up those posters. Or you finally went to the doctor. After how many years? I went to the doctor earlier this year. Yes, I did. I actually did. In fact, I went twice. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> what I think progress is supposed to look like. Who I am, who I want to be. But it's not linear. It is. Mm, tell me about it. And then victory lap. Extras, random pages that don't really fit anywhere else. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> and then she has resources. If it's an app, it's an app and website. It's a website, product, book. She's got a list. And then her Patreon supporters. I'm not on her Patreon. So I don't know why I'm looking for my name. And it's not here because it's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Neurodiverse squad. Ooh, yeah. Black girl lost keys. I follow her at out to ADHD. I follow her. Uh, who's this? Dusty Chapura. I hadn't heard of her. ADHD alien. Hadn't. Danny Donovan. I follow her. Aaron Brooke. I don't follow her. So yeah, that is the squad. Okay, so thanks for joining me on this long, long video, guys. I will see you later. 
and her website is dannydonovan.com. Whoa. All right. Bye, y'all. Let me see how I can close the book. <laughs> uh, yeah.